Hi everyone, it's Deb. I thought I'd give you a glimpse into what I do before I put a bead order that I received away. Now, I am behind. I have not bought that much this year, but June 1st I ordered from Bargain Beadbox Bargains and I had a two page, which I see I ripped one. Anyway, I had a two page um, invoice. This is the second page and the first one I've already cut up. So I have a formal database inventory system and I enter every item I purchase, not that was provided to me. Um, now bead, Bargain Bead Box was in my personal stash, but I think when I start it back up in November, I'll be changing that. And that's going to be a business expense also but i have to see there's some other things i've got to get going better first so anyway um, when i enter them i make a copy of the invoice i have another one that's not ripped um, and as i enter them into my jewelry design manager which is no longer available for sale the lady that um, developed it and maintained it retired um, so hopefully it'll never die on me but anyway this is the part number in my system. So I try to, um, well, in the past, I wasn't doing it this way. I was just like writing JDM 1495 or whatever it is on the outside of the bag and beadbox bargains and the price. And so I, I kept organized that way. The problem with that is the, the black permanent marker on plastic baggies is not really necessarily permanent and they do have one that's called extreme i didn't find that worked any better um, over time and probably with you know human oils off our fingers and stuff going on them it rubs off and rubbing against other bags in the boxes i keep them in and things like that so um i've started in the last year or two making a copy of the invoice and like this is, these are all my, the checked, well, these, this is the pile. One nice thing about Beadbox Bargains is they have their codes organized by CZ, which is check glass, CRYS, which is crystal. Uh, these happen to be little charms or pendants that are stainless steel and crystal birthstone. So I kept them, I only bought five different ones. I've kept them all in the same bag and I haven't figured out where I'm going to put them yet probably on my desk to use soon, I hope. <laughs> um, but these are all the check glass ones, and this is what I've cut up so far for check glass. But you see, I have down to here, and plus there are three down here that are these little, um, they're little bags like this these three bags and I'm going to have to put them inside other little bags but they have a different code they have CZ in them but they start with MA so they're also check glass so I'm going to um, work on cutting this up and then I'll come back and we'll stuff the bags and or maybe I'll go ahead what I do then is I just fold these up so this is CZ 5193 that's the other thing they stopped putting the CZ on them like here's 5192, here's 5193. These are pressed glass angel wings slash crescent beads. And I think they're going to go in a special place too. But what I do is I fold it up. Hopefully the bag is big enough that you can see the um, bead box bargains number and the JDM number. Now I will know instinctively that these are bead box bargains. But, and my, my system will say that, but there's nowhere on this slip unless I write it on the back, which I've done in the past. I'm just not going to take the time to write that because it's a big order. Um, and that way, when I go to use these, I keep a log. And then I, my system also has a jewelry piece inventory, which takes the parts out of parts inventory as you use them. Um, it puts them into the pieces. So I know how much it costs. To make every piece of jewelry that I make and if I want to and, and then I know what markup I put on and stuff like that so let's just do a couple here's another uh, CZ 5192 is part 14908 
And this was, <coughs> excuse me, um, Capri Blue with Gold Splash. Um, so that's here. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to take the time to do this on all of them. And then I also separate my beads by check glass and by color. So these normally would go in a blue, but because they're angel wings, they go somewhere else. And I have one more angel wing. So I need to find 5191, CZ 5191. And this is varied olivine with pink splash. Pretty unusual color. I thought it was kind of cool. Almost looks like, you know, green and green and pink for Christmas <laughs> instead of green and red. But that's how I do it. And I don't take them out and put them into um, a separate. Uh, right now, well, let me step back. I'm starting to move things into things like the Harbor Freight boxes that have 24 boxes in it but those boxes are not very big now these I can fit this like this baggie into one of those boxes with the bag intact to leave it in the bag and put it in there but some like this one eh, that might fit too some like these would not fit um, in the baggie in there you'd have to take out the strand and in which case I just take the little slip, fold it up and put it in the box, in the little box inside another box. I'm, I'm not there yet. I only have some beads like that. And then others that I have too much for that go in like plastic shoe boxes. So I have, for example, check glass blues, and that's all in like a plastic shoe box or another different plastic container. So like these would go in there and this would go in there. And then I have non-check glass, same thing. Reds, blues, whites, browns, blacks, oranges, whatever. Yellows, yellows and oranges usually go together. Now this, for example, 4659 um, is pumpkins. And I'll put that in with my fall beads. And that's right here. Pressed glass fluted pumpkin beads. Um, I recently organized my fall and Halloween and Christmas stuff um, that's specific to those holidays. If you would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below and I'll show you how I organized and what I have for that stuff. So they go in a special place too, as do the angel wings. And also I have a whole shoe box that's for bell flowers. Um, and I have another thing. Let's see where these are. This is the fan beads. Anyway, um, these I'll probably just put in with the appropriate colors. But the bell flowers, I have so many of them, I had to put them in a, a special place. These are Art Deco fans. They look like shell to me. Um, I'll probably just put them in with purples or pinks. Let me see what it says. Pink wash, or I think it's pink wash. Yeah, Alabaster AB Pink Wash. I'll probably put that in with Check Glass Pinks. Um, I don't know if I have just pinks or if I have reds and pinks. I'm not positive. Um, and these two, will, they'll go in the same. This is like a coral. Uh, I'm not sure I got to that yet. Let's see what's next in here. 5338 Faceted Drop Mulberry. Okay, that's these. Well, yeah, they're like reds. Reds are purples. I might try and use them soon, but I have I can't leave it all out on my desk because I I just uh, don't have room to work then, and that's not a good thing. All right, so these are reds and pinks. I'll put them together for now. Uh, okay, table cut flower coin beads. Did I see? Oh, they're here. These are really pretty. They still have them too. I was on their website today. I have not committed to an order yet because I really, really, really don't need anything. But I just keep, I, I went on their site to check something. Um, of course, they didn't have the thing I wanted to check on. It was something I bought here. I forget what it was. Anyway, um, I wanted to look up something in the description, but they no longer had it. But these were on there. So those will just go in with the, probably the, mm, probably the greens. They're more of a green, right? Okay, let's see what's next. 
uh, yellow opal rectangle beads. I saw them. So I'm, ooh, knocking my pumpkins down. Rectangles, they're here. So how do you store your beads? Let me know. Um, I have so much, honestly, I really can't, I really shouldn't buy anything else. Uh, they're going to go in yellows too. Did I get to these yet? Uh, five, four, four, six is round root beads in ivory stripe casa. That's these. They look brown. You can barely see the ivory, so they'll go in with browns. Um, so like I said, my glass beads, regular glass that are not um, check, I put in separate from the check. And then the check glass rounds and other like shapes like the drops and stuff we saw earlier um they go to they go in one place and then the flower bell flowers go in one place these will just go in with the color if it's something like these are flowers but these look like snowflakes to me i'll get to them in a minute i don't know if i'll put them in with white or i might put them in with winter and actually there's they have some blue ones on their website i want to order now <laughs> Uh, that look like snowflakes to me too. Okay, these are conch shells, and these normally I have a special place for nautical and shell check glass. Um, I have a container that has some shaped beads. However, I have a lot of that stuff on my desk, so that's going to go in a special place too. And uh, bellflower. These are the bellflowers. These are matte crystal goldenrod swirl pink wash and they will go in with the bellflowers because I just have so many I um years ago I bought a bunch of stuff off fire mountain and I was getting the like they have a discount below the lowest discount if you're wholesale I'm not anymore I'm not buying wholesale anymore because I'm not buying enough but and that was intentional actually when I was still working and just started making jewelry, I decided I'm going to stock up and buy a bunch of stuff, and then I'll have it. The problem is I never really stopped buying, but now, this past year, I stopped buying so much. I still buy occasionally, like this order. I think I had two different orders this year. And I'm slowing down on kit purchases. Like, I'm not doing soft flakes anymore because I just can't spend that much every month. And I'm out of room. Anyway, these will go in my special place too for bellflowers. And that's it. So now I'm going to cut up this. And then I'll come back and we'll we'll finish this. And then um, actually I'll go ahead and finish the check glass. And I'll put them away. Um, and then we'll move on to some of these other things. So I'll be back. Okay. Um, so I put most of them away. For the check glass but i just wanted to show you i got to these these were the ones that had the ma-cz um and then the the number and i have the three strips for them but if you watched my last video where i was reorganizing my potomac beads treasure kits you'll know that i saved a bunch of these little bags and i am going to take these out of these vacuum sealed bags and put them in ziploc bags because a, I can't put this in there, right? And then the second thing is, I can't count them because they gave me an estimate of 50 each for these two and um, I think it was 80 for these bicones. But if I go to make something and I think I have 80 beads, but I only have 50 or 60 or even 72, you know, I have to put an accurate number to start in my inventory system. Now, sometimes I'll make a project and I end up with one left and you know what? I just say I used them all and that goes in my bead soup. Usually, not always. It depends if it's a gemstone, it goes back in the gemstone box. But for the things like this, if I just have one left, it goes into one or two, it goes into bead soup usually. So I'm gonna sit and count these. Yes, I'm kind of anal that way. I know, I'm sorry. Um, I have three little baggies I'm going to put them in and I will fold their respective little slips up and put them in there too and then we'll get into gemstones and pearls. I'll be back.
Okay, and just to show you why I do this, there are 10 little piles of 10 of these. They said in the, um, on the website that this five gram bag would have an estimated 80. I need to add 20 beads to my inventory because there are a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a hundred, ten of ten. So I need to write that on here. Um, 100 beads and I need to fix it in my system which I'll do off camera so I'm going to do that for these two as well I'll put them in these bags and uh, then I'll come back okay so these ones that were grams this one was supposed to est estimated 80 I had 100 uh, the mm, blue one was estimated 50 plus and I believe I had 57 let me see I wrote it on here somewhere yeah 57 so I got seven extra and then these um, purple ones black current they're called um, and these are like hex nut shape this one had 62 so it's 50 plus and yes they they did give me the 50 plus seven on this one plus 12 on that one and this one I got an extra 20 from what they estimated so these are going to go in my yellow check glass blue check glass, purple check glass, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back for a moment. I had bought um, some of these rondelles, six millimeter and eight millimeter in silver and crystal, just clear, and then uh, eight millimeter in the sapphire blue. And I, <laughs> this is, uh, don't judge, but reuse your products. This is one of those, you know, one of those brand uh, things cleaned out very well this is where I keep all my all my rondelles like this that are not um Swarovski and they're round up rondelles they're well I say they're not square dolls but I do have these which were actually pretty pricey um I don't know if these were Swarovski uh but it doesn't matter I had to put them in with square do uh, square dolls but these are all rondelles um, from various places. AC Moore, big ones there. These really pretty ones that are gold with like a topaz in them. And I mixed the silvers and gold because when I want a square dell or a I mean a rondelle, I just know I can grab this box. And if it's a, um, I'm gonna throw these back in here for the minute. If it's a um, Swarovski, I have a little drawer. I have those cabinets like you get in the, the tool um, sections like at you know big box home depot or lowe's that kind of store and it has um nine of this size and then one, two three four five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty like half size of those um so this is my one for gold plated lever backs and ear wires and i have some ear wires i bought i'm gonna actually kind of take them down to the bottom a little bit because you see I have quite a few now these are lever backs these are lever backs a different style now these are some round ones some more lever backs and then this color um, these are um, kidney wires which I actually like that style because they're secure um, so these are ear wires uh, lever backs and then these are oops, a hair get that out of there um i think these are, are these ear these are lever backs also so i'm going to put these ear wires in the back and i kind of want them the older ones on top but that's a totally different shade of yellow do you see so depending on what i'm making i can match up the the color to the um the color gold i i am not a, a gold lover and that's why because the color varies so much i'd like to use them up soon but and i do prefer lever backs so they all go in here and then i'll put these away these are on top of one of those gray boxes and then um, i do have i actually have four of these units of what did i say nine plus five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty nine I think it's 39 yeah I think it has 39 
um, compartments in it. I have four of those. <laughs> yeah, I need to, uh, two of them are okay. I have them all labeled and they're all like uh, crimp beads by, and uh, head pins and eye pins and um, ear wires, except for silver because I have too many in silver and they go somewhere else. Um, but I have two of them that are kind of a mishmash and I need to reorganize those, but not today. All right, I'll be back and we'll do the next ones. Okay, I know this is probably going to be a long video, but I just wanted to mention something. So I bought these, these three packages are shell pearl, which are main man-made pearls and they're very round. They're very pretty. They usually don't show any, um, like white, um, they're dyed through and through most of the time. Um, and I have a shoe box full of them. Now, the thing is in this inventory system that I have, I look up before I buy things, I look up the item code from the vendor, but with beatbox bargains, you have to be careful and maybe other vendors too, because it turns out I also bought some of these. They're um, eight millimeter white, smooth round shell pearls, but they had a different um, item code in 2000. I wrote 2007, that's not right. Anyway, oh, it was 20, I think. Anyway, I bought them previously. And here's the thing. I think they changed the item code because the last time I bought them with a different item code, same size, same color, shell pearl, I got 26 beads and the price was like a dollar something, like just around a dollar. And now they're $3.79 for a seven and a half inch strand. That's the other thing. When you buy by strand, I always count them off the strand before I could have to, to put them in inventory. So I know that these are 15 cents a bead. The other ones were around 10 cents a bead on average, right? Less than that actually. So I got less beads for triple the money, really almost quadruple the money. So I just thought I'd let you know that. Now that said, I either have misplaced those or used them already because I can't find that particular size and batch in here. I do have some, but they're a different number. And these are actually not called white. Can you see the difference? They're more like a cream. So I don't have the eight millimeter whites in here and I should. And then these I've already put in one of these. This one is like a sage green, which I didn't have. And this is a pewter gray, which I do have some of, but I think they're like on strands that are mixed like that. So anyway, this is one of my shoe boxes. So I have a floor to ceiling bookcase that has houses, um, crystal, some Swarovski, a whole shelf of that. Um, then glass and pearls and, um, mother of pearl. And then the next shelf down has starts my freshwater pearls by color, different boxes for different colors, as well as um, coral. And I forget what else is on there. And then I have an overflow on the last two shelves of gemstone shoe boxes. And because um, I have another floor to ceiling bookcase, it's nothing but gemstones and more. I have more than that, but um, and then the bottom shelf is things like, um, well, it does have some gemstones too, but it has like um, <sighs> beading thread, like, um, what do you call that stuff? Wildfire or Fireline, that kind of stuff, or Naimo, which I don't like. Um, and my Kumihimo discs and stuff like that. So I need to go through that shelf because there's things there I know I'll never use. Um, so that's it for this session. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, a couple other things. I'm not a big tassel person, but in one of those 39 container drawer units, I do have a drawer for tassels. These were a freebie and there's, I think 20 pieces in here. I'm gonna put that in that drawer. Um, this is the only clasp I bought this time. It is a magnetic heart clasp set of two. And on their website, they tell you that the coloring might be discolored. But when I entered this in my inventory, 
I put the full price in and I entered it as one. And the reason I did that is because this one I can't use um, because it doesn't um, it doesn't sit right. And I mentioned that when I did the unboxing, so I can't use this one. So instead of being a dollar fifty nine for two clasps, it's a dollar fifty nine for one which is still probably a good price compared to other places. But yeah, and I didn't, um, I didn't contact them or anything. I'm not gonna spend my time doing that, but these will go in my, I just have one shoebox for all my copper antique copper findings kind of thing. And it's not full and I want to redo that box, but also these are um, lightning bolt charms, but they are stainless steel. And I keep all my stainless steel separate from other silver metals. Like these will go, I have a shoe box for, with nothing or some kind of box. Let me see. It's a little bit smaller than a shoe box. Um, I have sil silver metal charms um, and pendants, that kind of thing in one place. So these will go in there, but because these are stainless steel, I will put them in stainless steel because I only use stainless steel with stainless steel. And those are more um, tarnish resistant, um, typically, so they'd be good for um, better. They'd be better, I won't say good, for places like very high humidity or salt, near salt water, but don't wear them into the ocean, that kind of thing. And then I just wanted to talk about pendants. So this is a carnelian one. It's an open teardrop. I think you'd have to do it this way. I don't think there's any other hole in it. Yeah, you would have to connect it this way. Anyway, um, I will store this in with my carnelian beads. I don't remember what they're in. I think they're in like one of those fishing tackle boxes. I, I'm not sure. I'm trying to find them on my shelf and I, I can't wait this second. Um, I'm in the process of like, I have stuff in shoe boxes, but if the shoe box isn't full, I'm starting to switch them into these um, Harbor Freight boxes and we'll talk about them in a minute. So that's going in with my carnelian beads because I will use that most likely with other carnelian beads and then possibly bring in other colors and metals and stuff. Now this one is a pendant, but it's not a gemstone, it's a glass and I have, I do have a shoebox which isn't full of just pendants. The problem with that is I don't usually remember to go seek it out unless I'm looking for something then I go, oh, I forgot I had that. Um, and I think I have some gemstones in that box. I need to go through it. I want to put any that are gemstones in with the gemstone because I will find it there more easily. Uh, that's just me and then ones like this will have to stay in a separate box but I need to get them all together see how many I have maybe just start using them you know that kind of thing okay so gemstones usually come on strands not always but usually these are fancy jasper I do have a shoe box that is called jasper rainforest comma pine comma fancy comma multi uh, comma jungle comma tree agate um, this actually fancy jasper I learned is also known as tree agate. Nah, no, wait, is that right? No, that's not right. It's something agate. I just saw it on their website. Yes, Indian agate. Excuse me. This is known as Indian agate. Tree agate I think is, is green with white in it or something. I don't know. So they'll go in that shoe box. But these are myphonite. I only ever had myphonite one time and that was from BB Craft. So, and I have a couple other like brown colored gemstones. So I got out, I was organizing a week or two ago and I did get some done, but I have ways to go. So I put all these sort of brown colored gemstones. I have Roisite. Rhyolite, Hickoryite, and Petersite in here. But I also have some extra boxes, which I'm going to need more than one because these are rather large. So 
we're going to go ahead and just put them in here because I'm not starting a separate box for these. And I'll save that baggie, of course. Um, and I don't really need this, but I'll probably cut one of those out and write, I already have it on here, the, the inventory number. Um, so one of these boxes will get, and you see I rubber banded some together, but I'm, I'm not going to, I probably need four boxes for these. We'll see. I'm going to cut them off of here. And I'm cutting in between the bead because, ooh, and there went one. I'll be back. <laughs> I found it. It really didn't want to be with its friends. It um, it actually went inside uh, a folder, a plastic folder I have on the floor here next to me for my paper craft stuff. And um, yeah, once he came out of there, he decided he wanted to roll on my, I have like one of those mm, clear chair mounts under my chair here because it's on carpeting. Which, yeah, it's not ideal, but it works for now. They're, it's about worn out, and I don't even think they make them anymore. Maybe we can get one strand per box. We'll see. Eight, it's 10 millimeter that I can't, maybe, because there's a little bit of room inside these lids, too. So, yeah, I'm having my sort of tan brown gemstones that don't have their own shoe box, like I have one for bronzite, I think. But I need to look at that too. And this is going to go in here. And actually, usually what I do on this then is I write um, box one of two. Because I don't I'm, think I'm low on uh, rubber bands. Or I have to go check in my certain office supply place here at home and see if I have them anymore. So that's going to go in there maybe. Right, doesn't want to go. I'm going to fold it a little more. It doesn't need to be visible. Um, there, we'll go like that. Okay, so that's one. And then in this one, we'll do the same thing. Da, 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 da. So how do you, I want to know, how do you organize your beads? Do you separate them by glass, crystal do you keep crystal with the glass I oops there went another one I was separating um crystal originally because all I had was Swarovski I don't know where that went I'll get it later and when I'm done um and but and then I had I had like crystal bicones that were Chinese I had them in crystal in my system, my inventory system, but I had them stored in with regular glass because they were Chinese, you know, not as sparkly. Well, I took them out and now I have Czech crystal, Chinese crystal, and Swarovski crystal, which is crazy. Um, and I don't, uh, I don't have them sorted by color either. Um, I don't know. Let me know how you do that if you do that. Uh, store them separately. I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing with those for now. All right, now these, um, I have Myphonite written on there. I guess I'll write, uh, I'm going to write box two of two. And I'm going to get a little, little piece of paper here or something. This is sort of a cardboardy paper. Uh, I hope this will come off the bag not coming off real well. Mm. Let's see if the other one will come off better. I don't know. And they don't have this on their website anymore. But last year when I did a craft booth, when I did a craft fair, you know what? I'm going to stick that on here anyway because it's all there. And I'm going to tape it down. Will it fit better this way? And let's just do it. I can cut around it. Um, <laughs> it's a little crinkly, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's cut it. And I can cut it down even a little bit. And one, four, nine, two, four. I need to put a little more tape on there. And I'm probably going to have to bend it. Okay. 
Did I write box one of two, or two of two? I didn't, or if I did, I, oh, I wrote it on the other one. <laughs> box two of two. Okay. There we go. So they can just go in here in with my brown gemstones. And then I need to get out my labeler. I don't know where I'm going to put that um, information though because I already have. I might have to put it up here. We'll see if it'll fit um, my label maker thingy. And we're going to put Myphonite. M A I F. I hope. A N I T E. Print. And that saves me some space if I have like colors with just certain, you know, some gemstones I don't have a lot of. And, um, yeah, let's trim this down too. I hate that it comes out with so much space between, but I kind of understand the way this machine works. Maybe other machines are different. But this is right in my drawer here and very handy for me. Let's see if it'll fit up here. Maybe I'll put it right down here. Oh, it'll fit down here. They're not in alphabetical order on the outside of the box. I could drive some people crazy, but as you can see, I add to it as I went along. So that's it for this video. I, um, I just wanted to show you what I do to put stuff away. It takes me forever. So that's also another reason. I don't like to buy a whole lot. A lot of times for a couple of years I was doing that and I felt like all I was doing was inventorying and putting stuff away and organizing uh, which I need to redo um, and not getting to make as much um, so yeah I'm trying to do now a little bit at a time with the organizing I'm, I'm getting there I still have a ways to go yeah I have I shouldn't even tell you this, but I have four shoe boxes full of ag agate plus a separate box that I need to put in one of these for just blue lace agate. And then I have, um, yeah, these need to be consolidated too. I have Ethiopian opal, white dendrite and other opal, and pink, purple, and blue opal. Three different boxes for those. You know, and Jaspers I have one, two, three three, four, five shoe boxes, six shoe boxes. My favorite is Red Creek Jasper and that box is overflowing. Um, and then two of these type containers full of Jasper. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Anyway, I won't go into all the rest of it, but I have a floor to ceiling bookcase plus a shelf and a half of the one where I have my pearls with nothing but gemstones and one, two, three, four containers sitting on the floor next to the bookcase with gemstones. It's all gemstones. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to put this stuff away and um, get this video edited, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Hugs, love, and peace. And do answer me down below, how do you store your beads? Like I said, I do glass separate from check glass. Both of them are in separate compartments by color. Um, my gemstones, like I said about the agates, um, they're in shoe boxes by color. So I have red, yellow, orange in one, um, black in another one, blue, blue, brown, turquoise, and fire. I don't know if that's right. Um, in another one, and then agate, everything else. Oh, and Botswana. I think I'm going to put Botswana and blue lace agate in one of these together because I don't have as much of those. And, um, yeah, some of those shoe boxes I have are not full, so they can work in one of these, but some of them are, and I'm just going to leave them in shoe boxes. Anyway, that's how I do it. And then um, pearls, fresh water separate from shell, separate from glass. Um, and I think I'm going to de stash some of my glass pearls because some of them I don't like. I got them at um, Dollar Bead, maybe? I don't uh, something like that. Anyway, I, I don't care for them that much and I tend not to use them. So I'm going to at some point de-stash some of those. All right. That's all. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below. Thanks. Bye.